Hello everybody and welcome. Today I promise you we were going to talk about weaning Fiona. Uh, we are going to do that but I will also give you an update about Madonna. Uh, Madonna and I kind of had a weekend from hell. Um, uh, in the end of last week Madonna got really sick and I thought she was about uh, to lose her foal actually. Uh, and also lavender is lame. Uh, things uh, feel kind of hopeless at the moment. Uh, but anyway, what I would like to say is thank you so very much for all your love and prayers. Uh, it helps a lot when things get like this. Um, and I would like to do like a special thank you for you that are in the membership and follow Madonna's journey with her uh, pregnancy. That means a lot to me guys. Thank you so much. Yes, so now we are going to talk about weaning and Fiona. Hey good man. Oi. <laughs> hey. Yes, so we are two different ways of weaning. You have what we call cold turkey. It's when you kind of just do an abrupt uh, separation. And you have a thing that you call slow weaning. Uh, I actually tried both <laughs> of them. Um, uh, today I will tell you what I'm planning to do with Fiona and uh, why. Yes, Fiona is 11 months. Uh, she has been ready to wean for a really long time now. Uh, Fiona is a very secure horse and when she was a week old <laughs> her mother was all the way up with the table eating and uh, Fiona was down here with uh, Trash and Shania hanging out. Uh, there are some things I want the foal to be able to know before I separate. I need to be able to put the halter on, do a daily care, I don't know, move hindquarters, forequarters. Uh, I would like to be able to load her on a trailer, have her tied up and stuff like that. I actually prefer cold turkey. What are you doing? Separation. Uh, because when I have done it cold turkey, I think it has been really low stress on the foals and uh, it's more about what you can provide for the foals so that kind of separation has worked very well for us uh, actually one time i tried to do with slow weaning uh, with lavender <laughs> and you all know how calm lavender is and uh, she f always feel really safe and uh, kind of like that so anyway, I started to do a slow separation with Lavendel and when I discovered that every time I did that kind of thing, separating her mother and her for a little, little while, hey, Lavendel was like kind of really stressed out. Uh, when I decided it was time to separate Lavendel for real, so I brought Lavendel and Shania down here <laughs> and after a few minutes, Lavendel kind of ran all the way from the forest and jumped the fence. <laughs> so Lavendel is a jumping horse. And when she took off to the stable to her mother, um, that could have ended up with a really bad accident, but it didn't. But uh, I think that was when I realized that I not a kind of slow weaning person. I know there are a lot of studies about that that you can read and a lot of um, knowledge and uh, science and everything but I think when I wean my horses or, or, or anything I do with my horses it's about to look at the whole picture that's so important uh, and I'm not sure 
if they have done that the same way I do in the studies. So what I do, I get to know my horses, I get to know my herd. And the most important thing of all is to see what can I provide for the foal. And when it comes to Fiona, <laughs> I can provide her with a lot of stuff actually. So I have uh, three different uh, scenarios I would like to do for Fiona. One is that I bring Lavendel Dome to her because Lavendel and Fiona is really good friends and I think uh, Fiona misses Lavendel very much actually. Um, and uh, when I would take Nikki up to the stable but I don't think that's the best solution because I think it's better that Fiona leaves Nikki than uh, that uh, Nikki leaves Fiona. It's never a great feeling to be left alone. No, it's not. Puss. Another plan I had was to have Nikki down here and bring Fiona to the stable to Lavendel. Then Fiona wouldn't have Shania and Trash. And Trash is so important because he plays with Fiona. Are you going to play Trash with Fiona? Do it. Are you going to play? Yes, you are. Are the bus? So do. Trash had to play a lot with Fiona when Lavender left. <laughs> and he, you can play with her trash. <laughs> He's so funny, Trash. He throws his head. And Fiona just wants to play. Yes, you do. Shania is the safe herd leader for Fiona, so she is really important too. Um, when I come up with the third plan, yes. <laughs> it's that I bring uh, Fiona and Nikki to the stable. I leave Nikki in the stable. When I take down Lavendel and Fiona to Shania and Trash. Uh, when Fiona would have her best friend, she would have her uh, funny Uncle Trash and she would have her safe herd leader. And she would be in a place where she feels very safe. So I think that's actually the best option for Fiona. Um, I think often people kind of... I don't know how to say this. Because I like science and stuff like that and I like to learn new things. But you can't get like all, you can't, it's so hard to explain. The most important thing is to see the individuals and to get to know your horses. Not what anyone else have done, uh, science or research about horse, horses in general. You, you need to know your own horse. <laughs> because we are all different individuals and maybe someday I have a foal and feels like hmm this foal I might try slow weaning again but we all are different and it's why it's so important to change directions and not get like locked in in something I I think it is so important actually uh, the plan now is to go to the stable and I will give you an update about Madonna and Lavendel too. Yes, and so this Madonna update. Uh, in the end of last week, uh, I took Madonna in and I noticed she was really like low and tired. Uh, she started digging in the box, in the ground, and uh, looking at her stomach, <laughs> and uh, something was wrong, I could really feel it. And she started walking around in the box, and I thought, hmm. is it time to lose the foal, or does she have a colic? Um, I know when the horses has colic, they shouldn't lay down, but I actually let her lay down one time because I wanted to see 
if her plan was to push out the baby or if it was the stomach. Uh, she just laid down so I, I wasn't still sure, but I called out the vet. Hey mama. Hey mama. Hey. So the veterinarian came and uh, examined Madonna and uh, thought it was colic. So he decided to put like a gastric tube through her nose and uh, that actually didn't work. Madonna had really much bleeding from her nose. Uh, so I asked if he could put in her like an IV instead for fluid and he did that. Uh, that was much better actually. Um, she also got like pain relief. Uh, so it was a really hard weekend, Madonna. Uh, I was spending all the time in the stable, of course, because colic, it's really, it can go so fast the wrong way. Uh, you never know, actually. Uh, but I think it sounds kind of stupid to say, hey, are you leaving? <laughs> no, you're not leaving. You need to stay? Yes. Uh, I think it's kind of hard. I think it's kind of sounds stupid to say, but I was really happy it was a colic because colic is not good, of course. But Madonna still has the food in her belly, and that's actually really good. And the colic is over, and Madonna is feeling so, so much better. Yes, you are. But you are thinking about leaving? Yes. And I also have news about Madonna's other. It actually has been smaller, and that's a really good thing. Uh, the day it started to get uh, smaller was actually the same day the colic came. <laughs> so <laughs> this thing with Madonna is kind of like, yes, good, and no, she's going to die. <laughs> It's so much ups and downs, and I'm trying yes to. <sighs> yes. I'm trying yes to be happy for the happy things when I, of course, get sad for the sad things. Yes. 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 No. Uh, we are going to go to Madonna's baby, Lavender. Uh, because... Uh, ooh. But first we need to say... Hey Frosty! <laughs> hey Frosty! Oh. Frosty is actually the one that is doing great in the stable. You take care of the ladies. That's your job. A oh, puss. Is it your job to take care of the ladies? Yes, I think so. Mm. Yes, okay. Uh, so yesterday, Lavender was like crazy lame. Uh, she jumped on three legs. Uh, for no reason. Uh, so the veterinarian is coming today. Yes, you are bored being in the stable, I know. <laughs> so the veterinarian is coming today uh, and will do x-rays and stuff. Uh, of course I update you in the next episode about lavender. Uh, what is wrong? Uh, when horses get lame, you don't know is it like a hoof abscess, which is actually kind of a good thing? Or uh, is it something that actually is broken? Hello, <laughs> Vandal. What are you doing? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Uh, anyway. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode with me. No. 
<laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, be sure to subscribe and fill the bell for notification. Uh, I love you so much guys and thank you. Uh, see you later. Hugs and kisses. Bye. <laughs> La Vendel. What are you doing? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs>